Hello everyone. Let's provide full solution to this problem. We have 2y to the power of 3 equal to 64. Okay, we have to provide full solution to this problem. Okay, so if you take the cube root of both sides, then you will not get the complete solution okay so for us to get the complete solution i have to you know open this bracket so i have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by y to the power of 3 because this um, power here is for both 2 and y this is equal to 64 right Okay, if I continue, then we have 8y to the power of 3 being equal to 64 because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Now, the next thing to be done is to divide both sides by 8. Divide this by 8. This will go with this and then y to the power of 3 is simply equal to 8. Because 64 divided by 8 will give 8, right? Okay, so from here we have y to the power of 3 being equal to 8, right? Okay, but this 8, now I want to break it down. And we have y to the power of 3 being equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now we have the same powers. Do you know that since the powers are the same, we can equally equate the bases, but if we do that, we'll have just one solution, and we have to get the complete three solutions. So we have y to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 being equal to 0. What I've done is bring in everything to the left hand side but then if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared right okay so these are the same thing and we are going to relate this to this right away our a now is um y and our b is 2 okay so in place of a minus b we we'll have y minus 2 then into bracket a squared becomes y squared plus a b becomes y times 2 that will be 2 y then plus b squared here becomes 2 squared and then the whole of this is equal to zero. Now let's continue from here so that y minus two is what we have in the first bracket. In the second bracket, we have y squared plus two y plus four equal to zero. And now because we have two brackets multiplying each other to get zero we can apply our zero product rule okay can apply our zero product rule and when do we have apply this rule we apply this rule whenever we have to multiply two numbers or two terms to have zero so we are going to say that either this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero so we'll work with this linear exp um, expression y minus 2 if we equate it to zero it becomes an equation so our y now will be 0 plus 2 and then the value of y is equal to 2 now this can be called our y1 because it is the first solution to get the other solution, you pick out the quadratic expression over there. 
where we have y squared, we have y squared plus 2y plus 4 equal to 0. And this can be solved using fact, um, the formula method. So our e for the formula is 1. That is the coefficient of y squared. Our b is 2, the coefficient of y. And our c and the c is equal to 4, which is the constant, right? Now, the next thing to do is writing the formula. The formula is, um, now that we have y in the equation, it's going to be y equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, we're going to substitute these values of a, b, c into this formula. Okay, so this is what we have. Our b is 2 is here. 4 times 1 because a is 1 and c is 4. 2a is now 2 times 1 because a is 1. Then y is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 will give 16 and the whole of this will be over 2 right okay so y now will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 4 minus 16 will give minus 12 and this will be over 2 but then the negative here can be, you know, fixed out. So we have um, y to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 multiplied by square root of negative 1. Okay, so this will be over 2. Now, y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 can be 4 times 3 okay then multiply by square root of negative 1 everything over 2 y now will be equal to 2 minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then root 3 will be there then multiply by square root of negative 1 is i if I continue with this, okay, we divide this by 2. And do you know that this can go here and it will also go there? Okay, so if it does, then y will be equal to, this will have minus 1 there now. Then plus, I want to write this first. Write i square root of 3. So from here we have two values. This is plus or minus. We are having two values of y from here. Now let's bring the three solutions together. y1, we call it 2. Okay, y1 is equal to 2 rather. Then y2 will be equal to minus 1 plus i root 3. So it is from here that we have our y2. And then our y3 y3 will be equal to equal to minus 1 minus i square root of 3 okay so this okay so these are the three solutions to the equation remember the question directed us to solve it completely so you must get these three solutions